Hi being human fans, you're here again in the makeup department, but this time it's Halloween week, so I'm going to show you some little things and a few little tips that you can do at home to make Halloween go off with a bang. Come with me up into the kitchen. Being human, it's all about the blood, the gore, the vampires, that sort of thing. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of how to make intestines and bits of tummy parts and bodies and stuff like that, so you can make them at home. It's ever so easy. All you need is a bit of jelly, some fake blood from the local joke shop, and some hot water and a little bit of time in the fridge. So this is how it's done. A little bit of this straight in. We're mixing it all around until all of the jelly's dissolved and then it's time to put it in the fridge. And we'll come back in about 12 hours time and see if it's set. Okay, 12 hours later and it's set into a really firm jelly. But what we do with it now is the interesting part. Come and have a look. Okay, so there's the jelly. And this is the fun part. This is where all the blood comes into it. Then, this is where it gets a little bit gory now. And then instantly, you have all the gore. Okay, now I don't know if any of you vamp fans are going to a Halloween party this year, but I'm just going to show you a little secret, one of the little secrets of being human. These are the teeth that the actors actually wear, and these are specially made, so the actor has a cast of their teeth made. The denture is put on and they're on a little plate, and actually fits over the actor's real teeth. So proper, proper teeth there. But, for a lot of the supporting artists on being human, because we have loads of vampires, we go for a cheaper version, which is in the makeup cupboard here. Just go down to your local, again, fancy dress or joke shop and treat yourself to little vampire teeth. People think, oh, it's all CGI, but it's not. These are only cheap and they're fantastic and they do the job, great for blood sucking. Some of you might not know, but uh, Mitchell does have a little bit of eyeliner on now and again, just to darken his eyes and bring his eyes out and that's quite vampish, which is great. So a bit of edible blood around the mouth. Also, if you want to make the blood a little bit browner, you can add a little bit of burnt sugar into it, which gives that caked on, brown, dried effect blood. A few little pinholes on the neck, they're always good to do. You can just do those with a lip line or something like that. Um, and also, not forgetting Mitchell's looks, obviously. A bit of uh, hair gel through the hair. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed the uh, Halloween handy hints. Uh, let me know how you get on. I love reading your comments and have a happy Halloween and a happy trickle-treating. Trickle